Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And what I'm about to show you is some sad shit, man. It really is. Um, another child being failed by her single mom. You can tell that this little girl has heard and seen far too much. You can tell that she's been forced into the role of an adult far too early. You can tell that the language that is used around her is appalling. I do believe that there's a certain way you should speak in front of little kids. I believe you should do your best to curtail the profanity. Be careful of what adult subjects you talk about around the kid because it's not just the foul language. It's the content. It's the content of your your discussion. What are you talking about with other adults? Are you talking about sex? Are you talking about drugs? Are you talking about your finances all the time? That's another thing. Do your best to not discuss your financial woes in front of your children. That puts stress on them. It makes them worry. It makes them not ask you for things, maybe extracurricular activities that they could be doing because they're afraid that it's going to upset you because you don't have the money. There's certain things you don't talk about in front of children. There's certain music and entertainment you don't put in front of the eyeballs or around the ears of children. And you can see that this little girl has had all of those things happen to her. And in this clip, she says, oh, my dead father. She even talks like one of these young bitches out here, one of these young hood rats. Oh, my dead daddy. This girl's 10 or 11 years old at the most. And she's out with her out here, out on the streets of New York with her single mom. Wearing this fucking latex bodysuit. Where you can see her, her labia. Out here yelling and screaming and cussing at the police officer. So she's already been taught that we don't respect authority. And because you're a lady you get a lot of leeway with these male police officers. You can act as crazy and as stupid and as ghetto and savage as you want to. Nothing's going to happen. And this poor little girl has withstood that her whole life. And this is what she's turned into. And as you watch this, just to think to the, the trauma that this little girl has been through, the situation she's been in, the things that she's, she's seen, the things that she's heard, and also think, what is this little girl like at school? What is this little girl like when the teacher says, okay, time to clean up or something gets taken away from her or somebody says something to her? Imagine at this age, what that little baby's kid is like in school. Imagine what her teacher has to deal with every day. Imagine the lack of support that the teacher gets when she calls her mama and tells her she's having another problem. The mom probably cusses the teacher out. Why are you bothering me? She's your responsibility. Oh, my goodness. This poor little kid. I feel bad. And I know, shout out to my man, Oliver Mack, at Right Winged Angel on Instagram. And I know your first inclination is to, boy, to say, boy, that girl needs her ass whooped. If that girl talked, him, talked like that in front of me, I, I get it. Look at what she's wearing, too. Those shorts showing her midriff. Girl, you don't have a midriff. Your tummy, your belly button won't see the light of day. You are too young for that. Before it be, you can stop right there. That's ridiculous. Before it be a mother effing problem. This girl, little girl is headed to the maternity ward by the time she's a teenager, but she got them fresh kicks on and her hers did. Ah! A great top, and she had a dog bag. Um, the CV gave a description of a female black with long braids with a white face. I think you went back to the store. Where's glasses? 
Did I steal from Mount Clear? Mommy, I know who it was. Oh, your mom's being accused of theft. What classes did I steal? They Stop y'all. recording it now. You should not be recording it without our permission. Thank you. My hot school glasses. It was her. You should have a fucking white T-shirt on. No. My aunt stole the glasses. Does she have a fucking white T-shirt on? No. And when her mom pulled her back like that, that's the only time she chastises this little girl and tells her to chill out. That was it. That's one of my pet peeves is when little kids interrupt adults when they're speaking. I drill that into my kids' heads. Don't don't you see two grown people talking? Because I'm sure what you have to say is not important. When you see two adults having a conversation, shut your mouth. No! No! My phone! Leave my mother alone! I don't have nothing, though. This is crazy. Oh my dad, father! You don't have nothing! I'm gonna kill somebody, bro! I'm gonna kill somebody! I'm gonna fight somebody in the face! I'm gonna kill somebody, bruh! I'm gonna punch somebody in the face. She sounds like one of these hood rats you see on social media. Oh God, oh my dead father, guys. I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna punch somebody in the face. No child should be filled with that kind of rage. She is crying out for her childhood. She is crying out for her father and she's crying out for her mother to be a good mother and take care of her and give her the things she needs. Not fresh Air Force Ones and a new hairdo. She needs you to be a mother, nurturing, caring, kind. You think there's a lot of kindness in this little girl's life? I'm not going to run off because I know Don't I leave me alone. Listen, listen. Listen. Bro, my mother get arrested, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm a- I swear to God, bro. You think this little girl's face isn't plastered to a screen with TikTok being downloaded into her brain? Look at that. That's exactly what that girl sees and hears all day. My nigga, what are you talking about? Not even acting like a lady. Look what she's wearing. Look what she is wearing. All of that is being downloaded into her daughter's little brain. This is what I'm supposed to dress like. This is what I'm supposed to act like. This is what I'm supposed to talk like. She already is. Go get away from me. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Oh my God, bro. That poor little girl. She don't know what to do with all that anger inside of her. You know what that little girl needs? That little girl needs the suburbs. That little girl needs a nice family that wears cardigans and they go to church on Sunday and they eat dinner together every night and the kids play sports and the parents are kind to each other and they're loving. They say good night to each other. I love you. See you later. How was your day? What are you going to do? What are you guys thinking? What do you feel? She needs the suburbs. She needs to be around a real, loving, caring family. This little girl is losing her soul being around this disgusting hood rat of a mother. I didn't steal shit, yo. That's crazy. You sound like a man. You sound like some ghetto ass New York thug. Remember Dave Chappelle has that skit? A good thud of New York boobs. You sound like a New York thug. Now, where's this little girl going to go? Who's going to take her? 
police are going to take her down to the station. Some sorry ass relative who's probably going to be a woman. One of the Nims, her grandma and him, her auntie and Nim is going to come pick her up. Because where do you think her sorry ass mom learned it from? You think she came from a good home, a nuclear family with a father who worked hard and a mother who cared for her? Hell no. Her mama was just like her. Her mom is 15 or 16 years older than her. Damn. No, we really got my mother in hell right now. We did she do? She didn't do nothing. Look at that little walk, girl walking by like, damn, what's wrong with her? That little girl sitting there clapping like she's calling pigeons, like she's Mike Tyson on the roof. That is so terrible. And her, she says on her dead father, I don't know if he died of natural causes or if he got shot. But her mother is doing a horrible job. And then people say, well, the foster care system, pff, I don't know. I don't know. Living with that single mom in the foster care system are neck and neck. That poor little girl. She's not even a little girl anymore. She's a little adult because she's been forced to be one. Standing right there watching her mom get arrested. And do you think that's the first time she's seen her mom get arrested? You think that's the first time she's seen her mother get stopped by the police? Hell no. You think it'll be the last? Hell no. Don't you think that girl should be taken away from her mom and put into a better family? Of course. But do you think they're going to do that? Nope. Because then she needs to be with her mother. Look what her mother did to her. Look what her mother did to her. That little girl needs the Winslows. She needs some family ties. She needs some fresh Prince of Bel Air. Full house. Something. That's the kind of life that girl needs. She needs to get as far away from that city as possible. Just like Jenny said, far, 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 far away. Get that little girl the hell away from that woman because she is destroying her. Speaking of Jenny and Forrest Gump, side note, I was telling my friend about this the other day. How fucked up is Jenny? You go around the world, get banged by half the population, come back with a kid and AIDS, and now you want Forrest? Anyway, that pisses me off. Poor little girl. But I'll meet you guys in the comments. But you know how. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize a link tree link. Make sure you hit the link to my X account. Give me a follow at green underscore Jericho and hit that Teespring link and get 20% off all merch. Promo code Sloppy Joe, all caps, no spaces. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out. What? <laughs>